So I applied for roughly 60 to 80 jobs for about eight to nine months before I heard my first proper opportunity come back. The first time we talked, I know this guy is, he's a good man. So I was very happy, very relieved. Felt like the first step that we're gonna be okay. When I got the call, I was very excited. I actually run around like a schoolgirl, telling my family that I've got a job. I felt fantastic. I felt like a bloody ripper. I felt like for the first time in my life, people are gonna take me seriously. Our business operates 24-7. Our harvest crews kick off really early in the morning here. When I want to know what's happening in the paddock, uh, Rod's one of the very first people that I go out and engage in that space. He has got his finger on the pulse, he knows exactly what's happening. So I've changed position, I was very physical, now I'm a lot more upstairs thinking and planning. It's totally new, very foreign but exciting at the same time. Just because I like to learn, I like to challenge myself there. Well, we started this morning with the spinach guys at 6 a.m. and we seem to be heading along all right. Uh, I'd like to think within another 12 or 18 months he could be managing the whole of the harvest crew. And the sky's the limit from there, really. This is a guy that wants to keep growing. He wants to take on further education and we'll provide him those opportunities moving forward. Having someone like Rod engaged in my business gives me peace of mind that I know that everything's going to be fine and that allows me at the end of the day to spend more time with my family. My future now is very bright. This job's just opened up a lot of pathways for me and I plan to take advantage of them. Rod's about one of nine people that we've got involved in this program here at Bournemouth Farms through Jobs Victoria and this program's delivered fantastic win-wins. If anyone was out there that's in a similar situation to myself, just keep trying, just keep trying. Eventually, you will get a job. Rod's become a fantastic asset for Bournemouth Farms. We need more Rodneys. When he first kicked off in the business, he was reasonably shy, he kept to himself. As Rod's grown, he's also opened up. He has got a caring nature about him, and I think that's what makes him a, a really great human being. Thanks, Mum. Call me when you're ready. I'll be waiting. Yep. It's a place that was kind of nearby to my house, and I'd gone there at time to time, but when you walk in knowing you're going for a job interview, it just it felt like a brand new place. I walked out of there feeling actually really confident about it and really hopeful. It felt like that perfect job for me. Hi, I'm Alana. When Alana first walked into the interview, she came across as a very bright and bubbly and a very approachable person, which was um, it was exactly what we were looking for in a customer service role. Yeah, I got the job and I kind of played it really chill, but I was like really excited inside. Now that I'm earning money, I can pay rent and I feel like I'm actually helping out my mum. It's weird to say that like working has made me love myself more, but yeah, it's it let me appreciate who I am a bit more. I feel like employment, it's opened up so many opportunities for me. For me, gaming's also a really big part of who I am and what I do. And it became something that gave me self-worth and I decided to pursue it a little f further and I started to build a community in my local area for video games and met up with a few other people that were just as passionate and we created a gaming event. Even was able to find my own partner through that group. It's, it's a pretty full-on thing and it's given me a lot of um, experience around uh, event running and almost kind of made me realise what my passion is, which is, you know, being around other young people and uh, doing events for them. When I went to work the first day, I was very happy. I enjoyed the work a lot. Then this year, they gave me a promotion as the accounts manager. I'm so grateful for this program run by Jobs Victoria that helped me get my life back in every way because when you're a single mom, job is the most important thing. You need that uh, for everything else to fall in place. My mom, she's a really strong woman. Um, she's gotten us through a lot. She's an amazing person. 
really proud of us for being able to get through it. Wien and I both feel this is our home and it's going to be great. We're both very happy that we moved to Australia and uh, um, that everything is good. That morning, it was a, a big morning. I've been on a long journey. I'm still carrying the burden of, of refugee camp life in my body. Uh, I was nervous, but because I'm a man has been standing in front of thousands, I believe in my confidence in that morning. We had over 60 applications and we only interviewed four people and Stephen was one Stephen. of those people. Hi, come Hello. on, how are you? Good, please come through. I receive a call, you get the job, you succeed. I say, wow, I say it's good news. I told this first to Peter. After Stephen told me about his job, he sent an email. It actually said, uh, and Peter, I'd like to thank you, my brother, it still brings uh, tears to my eyes when I see it now that, um, you know, it's so rewarding. I'm very happy that I got this job at the last. It, it already changed my, my situation. Life is good. One of the things that we noticed when he first started with us is his ability to engage very directly with individual clients. The people that I work with, they are the people who are in my heart. I've been in, in that pain. I know how they are, so I'm very happy to, to work with them. I think as Stephen has become more comfortable, we see relaxed Stephen, and we are very much looking forward to a long-term working relationship with Stephen. If they can get work, it changes their life. And in this case with Stephen, it, it shows. It shows right through his family. To have a family, to have a children, they are always be a, a joy to me. They made me smile even though I'm sad, you know? It's just a, a good story of looking after each other, you know, uh, and supporting each other. A person can do things. Hope is in your table, so don't lose hope. contacted by the Premier's Job Bank Initiative and had a case and it was Mike. How he'd gone through the system and the email that just broke my heart and we, we created a position for him. The second he walked into our office, it was like he'd been here for 10 years. My first day at a deco was absolutely fantastic. I felt like I was in some wonderful beautiful welcoming tea party. Is it Alyssa you normally deal with, is it? My title at a deco is associate consultant. So I help out around the office, I answer the phone, boom. You know, you need something, I'm your guy. Hey Gullen, welcome to a deco. My name's Tom. Mike, lovely to meet you Tom. So we you, Tom. would induct 50 people a week and Mike assists them with their registration. We've honed in on what he's awesome at, and he's awesome at, at people. Just take your time, no pressure. I feel great, I'm really happy in that job. You know, I, I feel included and I feel like people actually acknowledge me as a person. The changes in Michael have been extraordinary. As soon as he started with Jobs Victoria, he, I say we got our old Michael back. He lights up a room. He's just happy to be here. He's happy to be with us. The fact that we were able to just create something that was a little bit different, 
It's just about tweaking the learning style or how he receives it. Mike has humbled us beyond words. Our job somewhat becomes transactional. We are in a position to change someone's path and what Mike has done for our business and our culture, we're forever grateful. I feel like I'm going to end up doing all right for myself. I've got my car, you know, I've got a job and I'm, I'm looking to just be happy, you know. That's my life's ambition is to be happy. Mike's talking about where he sees himself in 5, 10, 15 years time and that's huge, that is enormous. Without the program, I don't know what future he would have had, to be honest. And it's not just the kid's life that it transforms. It's transformed our lives. And our relationship with him is all about what he's doing and where he's going to take it. And knowing that he will be fine. I'm in a very good place at the moment. And I'm, I'm very happy with myself these days. If I was any more happy with myself, it'd be two of me. I feel like employment, it's opened up so many opportunities for me and it's made me feel like I'm in control of my life now. My advice for anyone who's in my situation is to ask for help because something will lead you to the next step and something good will come of it. Don't worry about the rest of the world and what they're doing and just don't lose focus of what it is that you want. Even though you do not have something to do or job, knowledge always is with you. Keep going, you will have job tomorrow. I want to share my story with other people just to show you that not all hope is lost. Welcome to a Deco Mike speaking. Yep, how can we help you today? Authorised by Victorian Government, 1 Treasury Place, Melbourne.